Come on, Willie. Come on. You little worm. Okay, if you don't have that much corn to plant, the first method I'm gonna show you is pretty simple. Space your seeds out, I don't know, eight to 12 inches apart and push them down to about the first knuckle. If you have a little bit more corn to plant, a little bit larger area, you may want to make a little furrow with your hoe Drop your seeds in the furrow. And cover them up. After about two months, your corn should look something like this. Living in a farm community, we'll sometimes run across used equipment or equipment that's no longer being used, maybe only for parts. And with a little wheeling and dealing, we can sometimes uh, get our hands on that equipment. I got a call from my buddy, Paul Juno, who owns Fabtech. Uh, I guess about maybe a mile and a half down the road. And Paul is the type of person that can work on anything or can build anything. And he ran across an old set of John Deere planters. May have been an eight row set May, maybe had even 12 units on it. But he took it, cut it down, and made a one row planter out of it for his garden. So today, we're going on a real field trip. We're gonna leave Bayou de Glaze and travel all the way down to Yellow Bayou and check out Paul's new home-built, refabricated John Deere planter. This is the airstrip I used to land on when I was flying. Ah, that was some good old days. Checking the number of seeds it's putting out. Let me see. 
Yep. Even on a straight row, he goes crooked. <laughs> but mine look about the same. Now today we're only going to plant about 10 rows. He wants to uh, split up the plantings in at least two, maybe three sections. So all this corn doesn't come in at the same time. Lash pile.